Loose Man. Today's topics were... Did deciding to divorce make you better friends with your partner? Did a tragedy make you turn towards faith or away from it? Could you date a crook? An extra topic, should you leave social media because of online abuse or trolls? And on today's panel was... Colleen Nolan. Gloria Honeyford and Diamond and Chizzy Akadulu and now me, Ashley Gardner and today's guest was Brookside Reunion Claire Sweeney, Michael Stark, Lewis Emmerich and Sue Jenkins and also Rosie Marcel. So, Lucerne was really good today. Um, on one of the questions, um, they done a poll. Um, did deciding to divorce make you better friends with your partner um 75 percent said no and 25 percent said yes um so at the beginning of the show they asked could you date a crook because apparently a woman has married a convicted um thief and she knew all about his past and everything else um and colleen was going through um, all these, um, things that could, that, like, would you go out with a murderer, would you go out with a thief, if, if they'd, you know, killed someone in self-defense, if they'd, um, like, she was asking all these questions to Chizzy, and Chizzy, nothing would put her off any man, <laughs> no matter what they've done, um, but she did say she is she isn't desperate, um, and she said she's no longer looking. So um, I th- I thought she was going to say she was seeing someone, but she didn't. She she's focusing on herself and her cat. Um, but sometimes when you're not actually looking, you might disappear. So, but she's a brilliant character. Uh, she's uh, hilarious. Um, and so Cliff Richard spent uh, the last few years in limbo until he finally found out uh, pros, pro, pros, proset, I can't even pronounce the bloody word. Uh, prosecutors um, would take no further action over an alleged... Uh, Alleged, alleged. I can't. Even, I can't say my words today. Allegation. I can't bloody say it now. <laughs> of historic um, sexual assault, but despite his ordeal, Sir Cliff says the um, experience has made his faith stronger. The singer, already a uh, committed Christian said i think it's stronger than ever because i've had a really had i had to rely on it in the recent years much more than i've ever had to have you found faith in have you found your faith tested during difficult times in your life did you find comfort having faith in the face of adversity um i don't believe in faith um i have nothing against those who do um but everything i've asked for hasn't happened until it does i won't believe in it um so yeah and then chizzy said she had some amazing news to tell us exciting news 
and it was that she's going back on Holby City, which is absolute amazing news. Love Chizzy, I love her character in Holby. It's 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 her down to a T. Um, she's only going there for two months, but I'm glad she's going to be back home. Um, and then she was joined by Rosie Marcel, who plays Jack Naylor in Holby. Um, she might be leaving. She hasn't said she is or she isn't. Um, she's another brilliant character. And she was saying that um, there's a storyline coming up about um, men's mental health. Um, which is amazing because it needs talking about more. Um, and also Colleen asked her if she'd ever go on a reality TV show. Like, I'm a celeb. And apparently... She has had meetings, so who knows, might, she might be on there this year or next year. Um, and divorce is difficult any time for any couple, but for some, the decision to break up can actually bring them closer together. Did separating from your partner make you better friends so you ended up getting along? Or did you file for divorce, only call it off and, and get back together? Because the pressure to make it work was off. Some couples have even been known to remarry after break, breaking up. Um, I can't really say much on this because I've never been married. Um, but obviously my mum and dad is divorced and she's remarried. Um, they don't speak at all, really. Um, she, she would always say hello and all that to him, but he wouldn't speak back. Um, but then he's not, he, it's hard to get a conversation out of him anyway. Um, but yeah, I think most, I think it depends what the breakups are, like, why you broken up, I think. Um, but yeah, most... But on most separations, I think it all yeah it all depends on why whether it's some that someone cheated or etc. And then they were joined by Brookside stars Claire Sweeney, Sue Jenkins, Michael Starf, Starks, and Lewis Emmerich to talk about the soap Brookside after being off our screens for fifteen years. I can't believe it's I think I thought it was longer than that. Um, they would love it. I, they would love it for it to come back, which I think everyone would. Um, even if it was only like a spin-off or something, it'd be brilliant. Um, they all look amazing. Um, and they played a game with them called Brookside Bingo, and they had a map of Brookside with numbers on, and they had to pick a number, and behind that number was a question. Um, and Anne started giving them the wrong question, which Colleen pointed out live on telly, which I thought you would have just let her carry on and in, instead of pointing it out, because you could always ask her a question, net, a different question, you know, next time. And the extra topic today was about actress Ruby Rose. Uh, she's quitted... Twitter over abuse she received since winning the role in the rebooted Batman uh, TV, uh, Batwoman's TV series. The Australian, a Jewish woman who has been openly gay since 2006, was seen as perfect for the role of Kate Kane, who will be television's first openly lesbian superhero lead. DC Comics confirmed her casting last week as part of a move to make its publications more diverse. Um, with this show expected to debut on CW Network in the US by early 2020, um, but the announcement since been criticised because she is neither Jewish nor, in the opinion of some in the LGBT community, gay enough. Um, then she closed her account, 
So, should we leave social media because of abuse or trolls? Um, I think absolutely not. Because if you leave, they won. That's what they want you to do. Stand up for yourself. Don't let keyboard warriors win. Every time they come with something negative, hit them back with something positive. Um, like I've said before, if I see a bad comment or something on social media, and I will comment back and stick for stick up for whoever they're commenting on. Um, so yeah, if you are being abused on social media or trolled, then don't leave social media because of it. Because there are a lot more good people out there than there is bad. And there are so many people that will stick up for you if you ask for it.